Philosophical Trends in the Feminist Movement by Anurata Gandhi. Introduction. Internationally, one of the most remarkable developments in the capitalist era has been the emergence and growth of the women's movement. For the first time in human history, women came out collectively to demand their rights, their place under the sun. The emancipation of women from centuries of oppression became an urgent and immediate question. The movement threw up theoretical analyses and solutions on the questions of women's oppression. The women's movement has challenged the present patriarchal explicative society through its activities and through its theories. It is not that earlier women did not realize their oppression. They did. They articulated this oppression in various ways, through folk songs, pithy idioms in poems, paintings, and other forms of art to which they had access. They also raved against the injustice they had to suffer. They interpreted and reinterpreted myths and epics to express their viewpoint. The various versions of the Ramayana and Mahabharat, for example, still in circulation among rural women through songs in various parts of India, are a vivid testimony of this. Some remarkable women emerged in the feudal period who sought out ways through the means available at the time and became symbols of resistance to the patriarchal setup. Mirabai, the women's saint, is only one example among many who left a lasting impact on society. This is time for all societies in the world. This was a counterculture, reflecting a consciousness of the oppressed, but it was limited by circumstances and was unable to find a way out, a path to end the oppression. In most cases, they sought a solution in religion or a personal God. The development of capitalism brought about a tremendous change in social conditions and thinking. The concept of democracy meant people became important. Liberalism as a social and political philosophy led the change in its early phase. Women from the progressive social classes came forward as a collective. Thus, for the first time in history, a woman's own movement emerged that demanded from society their rights and emancipation. This movement has, like all other social movements, had its flows and ebbs. The impact of capitalism, however constricted and distorted in the colonies like India, had their impact on progressive men and women. A women's own movement in India emerged in the first part of the 20th century. It was part of this international ferment and yet rooted in the contradictions of Indian society. The theories that emerged in capitalist countries found their way to India and got applied to Indian conditions. The same is true in an even more sharp way in the context of the contemporary women's movement that arose in the late 1960s in the West. The contemporary women's movement had posed many more challenges before society because the limits of capitalism in its imperialist phase are now nakedly clear. It had taken much struggle to gain formal legitimacy for the demand for equality. And even after that, equality was still unrealized, not just in backward countries, but even in advanced capitalist countries like USA and France. The women's movement now looked for the roots of oppression in the very system of society itself. The women's movement analyzed the system of patriarchy and sought the origins of patriarchy in history. They grappled with the social sciences and showed up the male bias inherent in them. They exposed how a patriarchal way of thinking colored all analysis regarding women's role in history and in contemporary society. Women have a history. Women are in history, they said. Greta Lerner. From studies of history, they retrieved the contributions women had made to the development of human society, to major movements and struggles. They also exposed the gender-based division of labor under capitalism that relegated an overwhelming majority of women to the least skilled, lowest paid categories. They exposed the way ruling classes, especially the capitalist class, had economically gained from the patriarchy. They exposed the patriarchal bias of the state, its laws, and regulations. The feminists analyzed the symbols and traditions of a given society and showed how they perpetuate a patriarchal system. The feminists gave importance to the oral tradition and thus were able to bring to the surface the voice of the women suppressed throughout history. The movement forced men and women to look critically at their own attitudes and thoughts, their actions and words regarding women. The movement challenged various patriarchal anti-women attitudes that tainted even progressive and revolutionary movements and affected women's participation in them. Notwithstanding the theoretical confusions and weaknesses, the feminist movement has contributed significantly to our understanding of the women's question in the present day world. The worldwide movement for democracy and socialism has been enriched by the women's movement. One of the important characteristics of the contemporary women's movement has been the effort made by feminists to theorize on the condition of women. They have entered into the field of philosophy in order to give a philosophical foundation to their analysis and approach. 
Women sought philosophies of liberation and grappled with various philosophical trends which they felt could give a vision to the struggle of women. Various philosophical trends like existentialism, Marxism, anarchism, liberalism were all studied and adopted by active women movements in the U.S. and then England. Thus, feminists are an eclectic group who include a diverse range of approaches, perspectives, and frameworks depending on the philosophical trend they adopt. Yet they share a commitment to give voice to women's experiences and to end women's subordination. Given the hegemony of the West, these trends have had a strong influence on the women's movement within India, too. Hence, a serious study of the women's movement must include an understanding of the various theoretical trends in the movement. Feminist philosophers have been influenced by philosophers as diverse as Locke, Kant, Hegel, Marx, Derrida, Nietzsche, and Freud. Yet most of them have concluded that traditional philosophy is male biased. Its major concepts and theories, its own self-understanding, reveals a, quote, distinctively masculine way of approaching the world, unquote, Alison Jagger. Hence, they have tried to transform traditional philosophy. Keeping this background in mind, we have undertaken to present some of the main philosophical trends among feminists. One point to take note of is that these various trends are not fixed and separate. Some feminists have opposed these categories. Some have changed their approach over time. Some can be seen to have a mix of two or more trends. Yet for an understanding, these broad trends can be useful. But before discussing the theories, we will begin with a very brief account of the development of the women's movement in the West, especially the U.S. This is necessary to understand the atmosphere in which the theoretical developments among feminists grew.